That's all, Dre. Think about it. They're trying to get smart on us. They're doing military tactics. The way in Chicago, how they organize it was, it was disgusting. You gotta get with the time. Now, I'm not saying think like them. But I'm saying be smart. It's always about communication, like the other man said, you know. And I'm just saying, I know you heard an account of how many cops it was. I was fighting in Zuccotti, fought there, you know. I'm out here in LA. I'm gonna stay here as long as I'm able, as long as I'm not arrested. I'm out here. You know, solidarity forever, man. Solidarity! Yeah! Solidarity factor is very high right now. Solidarity level is very high right now. You might not be able to all hear me perfect. I lost my voice. Screen for days, watch your space. The awesome Occupy boss. I was injured. I don't know, look up like the December front page, I like my boss up there on there in March. It's pretty cool. Um, but I'm, I'm there, and you know why I'm there? Because I'm just like all of you, I want everything to change. I think we're going to do that. And I saw a lot of huge things in Chicago that really surprised me. Because I went to jail four months after doing and I was like, whoa, what's going on? I want to be my occupier, I don't know what's going on. News just lose everything, you know, you don't know what's going on really. So you're like, what's going on? But then I, I got out and I was like, holy crap, they got Camp Charlie and we're fighting against the team. They're raising price and they're hiking money prices on people like us. So we had a lot of angry people, so we're like, we're going to use this. And I said, that's cool, but we had 20 people there. We had 20 people there and I was like, what the heck is happening to Occupy? What is going on? Our people are leaving. Why? Because they're just waiting for us to do something. I think I saw that in Chicago. Yeah. I think I saw what they were waiting for. I saw things that happened that I have never seen in my life. I saw cops put away batons because they died. ordered. I ordered, and others ordered them to put them away. They disobeyed a direct order to do it, and I saw people fucking defending lives in ways that were like the French who told you that he put peace signs up. I mean, come on now. I, I even got a fucking chief of police to say, yes, if you sit down, I will not order my men to beat you. Holy shit. Wow, so that's all you gotta do is walk up and sit down. We don't even like get that until now. Why? Because we have been fighting them. And we're not fighting them with anger no more. We're fighting them with love. Straight love and unity. That's what we're doing, baby. That love, that love, that love is more powerful than anything you know. Yeah. We are love. We love, have love. Peace, love, and purity is all the same thing. Peace, love, and purity. So I, say, I say this, I say this, as I walked in front of a crowd of people, I knew that these cops, if they beat me, they'd have more behind me. Yeah. I've got one chance. You have nice breakers. We learned in Chicago, okay? Hey, thank you. Hey, guys. Guys, I went to Chicago. How does this chant go? Ready? What does it say in 68? Billy Clarkson, a fucking skull. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Consider yourselves members of the Right to Share Food Coalition. So, on June 2nd at 1 p.m., we will have a, the fourth Right to Share Food event on the corner, southwest corner of 6th and Town Avenue, Skid Row, and um, there'll be music, there'll be drummers, and we are there to exercise and defend our right to share food outdoors and in public. So, despite what Jeff Perry said, despite what Jeff, oh, by the way, June 2nd is Right to Share Food Day. 
And the reason that June 2nd is Right to Share Food Day is on June 2nd, 2010, government shut down the Town Avenue soup line of five years standing at the direction of council member Jan Perry, District 9. Oh! So, District 9 like that. We want to make council member Perry the poster child for feeding intolerance. Let's do it. Let's get some posters. Let's hey, anyway, that's let's kick that bitch in the ass. Well, well, you know, right. To, one thing you can say about right to share food that makes my job so easy is because in right to share food, we have the moral high ground. Yeah. So anyway, I'll put these flyers, last of the flyers, on the table, and at June 2nd, 1 p.m., 6th in town, Skid Row. And it's one big free hot lunch. Thank you. Thank you.